Hi guys, I'm going to be canning up some turkey stock today, so y'all hang around. I want to bring y'all along in something that <laughs> I've got another Saturday to get a bunch done, and uh, a lady at work gave me this. It's a small turkey that she had in the freezer, and she lives alone, said that she wouldn't probably end up eating the turkey, and my daughter-in-law... My daughter and daughter-in-law have already got our turkey for Thanksgiving. They're going to be smoking it. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm going to take this turkey because I need the broth and I want to can some turkey meat. So what you see in my big pot here, my huge canning pot, is the turkey. And I put everything that I had put in the freezer, like celery, onions, um, just all kinds of, and these carrots right here, they were in my crisper, and they've not been eaten, so I just threw them in there, too. So I'm fixing to cook me up some turkey meat, and it's going to make me some beautiful broth, so I'm going to be canning some meat and some broth. Now, what I'm going to add to this, too, is poultry seasoning. I always put poultry seasoning in my broth. I didn't measure it, probably a, two, probably three tablespoons, because it's a big pot. I'm gonna put some pepper, and if you got peppercorns, that would be even better. And um, my pink salt, and this is gonna make some wonderful broth, which I'll be using to make my uh, my dressing, because I'll be making the dressing for Thanksgiving, and for our turkey gravy for the dressing mashed potatoes so I'm hoping to get enough for that and maybe some to can not sure but I do know that I'll have enough turkey meat to can up we'll see what happens but anyways this is just another way of using up what's in your freezer what's on your homestead and then a free turkey which I was really blessed with so we'll see what we get out of it, and it's all going to be good. Oh, and don't forget the stick of butter. I deboned my turkey, and like I said, it was a small turkey. But I got two good-sized bags of turkey meat to uh, put in my dressing for Thanksgiving. I'll make a big pan of, of dressing, and uh, so... That's going to be plenty of uh, turkey to be in there. So I'm really happy with that. And like I said, that turkey was given to me. So right there is just like free meat. And I was very, very blessed with it. And also, over here in my pots, I got two pots of some beautiful turkey broth. That's liquid gold right there. And I'll use it in my dressing too, but I'm going to have enough. I'm going to can some. So that's what I got out of a small turkey that was given to me. So I'm going to get my jars ready, and we're going to can up some broth. My jars are hot. My broth is hot. I've got my lids and warm water. My water's heating here in my canner. So I'm going to start putting this beautiful broth in my jars. Making a mess doing it. It's such a wonderful thing to have that will put fresh broth in it. And this all, all this broth and all that turkey meat you know, you've got quite a few suppers and all this broth is going to come in real handy with different recipes. And I will be using some of this broth with my dressing too. So I'm going to get my, my jars filled up and I'm going to leave a, an inch head space at the top. 
I'm going to keep filling them up and come back and put the lids on and get them in the canner. Now that pot made about nine quarts of broth. And I'm going to can seven quarts because that's what will fit in my canner. And the rest of it I'm cooling off. I'm putting in the refrigerator because I'm going to use it tomorrow. I'm making a, a cash roll tomorrow that I'm going to need some broth. So. But I've cleaned off the, the rims. I'm going to put my pot lids on here. Now I didn't boil. I didn't boil these lids. I just warmed me up some water, pretty good hot water, and stuck my lids in them. And the lids are hot. I got my canner over here and the water's good and hot in it too. So I got my lids on there. Now I'm going to put my, my rings on. Just gonna put them on there, finger tight. Woo, that's hot. Let's get me a rag. So I'm gonna put my lids on there. I'm gonna come back and put them on finger tight. That burnt my fingers. Should know better than that. You ever get a ring that did not want to go on there good? Okay. something that I can hold on to these jars with because they are hot. Finger tight. Finger tight. Finger tight. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of my rings going, then we're gonna put them in the canner. Well, these beauties are going in the canner. Like I said, mine holds uh, seven quarts, nine pints. One well, of these days, I'll get my bigger canner, but I do just fine with this one, cause I never, I never ever have enough time working full time out of the house off the homestead that I can just come in and and do a big canning. Now sometimes like today I'll spend my Saturdays and I'll do several canner loads and that's just fine with me. But it would be nice to have a bigger canner. Okay. I got them in there. I'm going to put my lid on. I checked my little valve here. And I always make sure, I put it up to the light, make sure I can see through it, make sure there's nothing in there stopping it up. Sometimes I'll take a little toothpick too and check it that way. Okay, make sure that my lid foot down tight. Shut it good. I'm going to watch for my steam to start coming out of the valve. When it starts coming out good, I'll time it for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to put my weight on there. And I'm going to let it come up to 10 pounds of pressure. And then I'll turn the timer on for 25 minutes. Well, I didn't get enough turkey meat to can and put in my dressing. But look at all this beautiful turkey stock. I'm so happy. From Whippoorwill Holler Homestead to your homestead. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And God bless everybody.